Eduardo, welcome for another week on the DP World Tour, here, but here at uh, Celtic Manor Resort. This is a very special place for you, isn't it? Yeah, it's always special to come back here. I uh, played the Ryder Cup in 2010. Uh, I've got great memories from that week. And uh, the golf course hasn't changed one bit. It's just a little bit firmer this year, and I'm looking forward to the week. Now that it's been officially confirmed that Luke Donald has been appointed to take the helm for Team Europe at the Ryder Cup next year, what does that mean to you, your thoughts? and? Uh... I think Luke is going to be a great captain. Uh, I've uh, chatted with him a few times in the last few days and uh, he seems uh, very motivated, very keen. Uh, I think he's going to be very passionate, which is a side we, we haven't seen in, in Luke yet. <laughs> but uh, I'm sure he'll, uh, he'll you know, leave no stone and turn. He'll do everything he possibly can to, to help us win the Ryder Cup back. In, in 2010, you were teammates with, with Luke here at Celtic Manor. Do you see Luke evolving, like becoming a bit more passionate, a bit more outspoken than, than what you saw in, in, the, in the, the locker room? I'm going to guess uh, he probably will uh, as a captain. But also in, in 2010, I remember he obviously was relatively quiet, but he knew when to speak and any time he spoke, everyone was listening. And uh, I think that's a great quality to have. And I'm sure it will be something that uh, all the players in the next Ryder Cup team will appreciate. It's only just earlier this year that I learned of your statistical analysis and, and everything you've done since you've been playing. Mm -hmm. Is this going to be increased tenfold now that I'm guessing that you'll have a lot to do with the statistics with the Ryder Cup? I think it's going to be a slightly different job. Uh, I mean, with the guys I work with on tour, we, we see each other every week and uh, we discuss things. And uh, I think for the Ryder Cup, it will be slightly different. But uh, I'm really looking forward to it and, uh, and hopefully I can, I can help the team as much as I can to, to win the Cup back. You've had a bit of time on the golf course. I know it's, well, thankfully a bit drier than 2010. We should have some sunshine, but how do you see it playing this week? Um, I think this week uh, it will be much firmer than 2010. Uh, be playing shorter probably. Uh, I think it's, it's a good test. Uh, the rough is, uh, is up this year and there's a lot of fescue and uh, you don't want to finish in there because uh, you're laying up otherwise. And uh, it's just a, a very good test. The greens are in good shape, so I think it'll be a good week. Eduardo, welcome back to Celtic Manor. Obviously, just, I mean, to take you down memory lane very quickly, this is a very special place for you, isn't it? Sì, è sempre bello tornare qui a Celtic Manor, dove ho giocato la Ryder Cup nel 2010. Ha sempre un posto speciale nei, nei miei ricordi e non vedo l'ora che la settimana inizi. If you could give your thoughts and feelings now that we've, it's been confirmed that Luke will now be taking the helm for next year's Ryder Cup team. Credo che Luke sarà un ottimo capitano, eh, ho avuto modo di parlare con lui diverse volte nell'ultima settimana e mi sembra molto motivato, molto impegnato nella, nella causa e sono sicuro che sarà un grandissimo capitano. Luke we know to be quite reserved, not one of the most uh, outspoken or just visually passionate. Do you see his personality or characteristics evolving from what you've known in the locker room? Ma credo che Luke sia sempre stato un ragazzo molto tranquillo, silenzioso, però credo che per questa Red Cup probabilmente cambierà un pochino il suo modo di essere, anche se già nel 2010 quando eravamo stati insieme parlava poco, ma quando parlava lo ascoltavano tutti e credo che sia una grande qualità. Lastly, if you could tell us what we can expect maybe to see from the course this week, it's going to be sunnier, thank God, later in the week, but also a lot drier from what you remember here in 2010. Sì, credo che il campo sarà molto divertente da giocare questa settimana, è abbastanza duro, chiaramente molto diverso da quando avevamo giocato a ottobre nel 2010 e credo che sarà un ottimo test perché c'è anche abbastanza raffa e quindi credo che sarà divertente. Thanks, Thank Much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you.